How's it going guys? I'm Captain Kevin Davies and you're watching Adrenalized Outdoor Productions. I just finished up my spring semester of my junior year at Towson University. So I'm hoping that this summer I can get back to what really matters in life and bring you guys some more videos like this that'll help you out rather than just show you us catching fish and killing deer and etc. So today is a review of the Pen Squall 50 wide 2 speed. It's a lever drag. And I have a whole season and a little bit more under my belt with this reel. This is something that you're going to use for marlin, sharks, tunas, wahoos, um, you know dolphin is a bycatch when you're fishing for a lot of those so if you don't already know I fish the mid-atlantic mainly and um, it's a reel that I don't think has gained a lot of recognition that I think it should get and there hasn't been a whole lot of discussion about it so I'm here to start it I think it's a reel that's worth talking about now when you're looking at those you're probably looking at that as opposed to a TLD 52 speed or maybe a Penn International. I don't have any TLD 52 speeds. I've used a lot of them in the past, but I don't own any myself. I own a few of these. This is only a single speed International 50 wide. And um, what you notice right off the bat is on the squall, there is not a lot of frills with the reel. It's a very plain looking reel. It's not a great looking reel, but um. I think it kind of does its job and serves its purpose, and uh, I'll show you why. So first things first, as far as line capacity goes, if you're fishing in the mid-Atlantic and you're looking at 50s, they're all about the same as far as line capacity. If you're putting like 50 pound mono on there, with that's going to be about 890 yards and if you're doing 80 that's going to be about 565 uh, but what a lot of us guys like to do here is run backings on our reels because in the mid-atlantic especially canyon fishing you never know what you'll run into so we typically fish braid backings on this reel here currently I have a braid backing a hollow core braid backing that's 130 pounds and it's about 600 yards of braid with 200 yards of 60 pound mono spliced into the braid on top of it so I'm actually getting ready to bump that up to a hundred pounds so I can run increased drags and the drag on this reel they say goes up to 40 pounds I haven't tested it up that high but I have the drag at about 20 pounds at strike right now and it's pretty darn smooth especially for what I would expect out of a reel that I paid $265 for they usually MSRP for around 350 or 365 something like that I believe so that leads us to the next thing that I want to talk about and that's the drag they say that they use the same internals for the most part in this reel as they do in the internationals um, including the drag this is a pen dura drag, which is a pretty long lasting drag, they say. That's where it gets the name dura drag. I have it on my spinning reels, the dura drag material, anyhow. And uh, I like it on my pen battle reels. I like it on these reels as well. They have the same drag system in their internationals currently, and, um, and it's smooth. I like it. Uh, I've caught fish fishing 25 pounds of drag and then they pull 500 yards of line off and uh you know so the drag actually increases from there so i've caught fish on the pen international like 70s with that dura drag material and it's pretty smooth and the next thing i want to talk about uh it's kind of a feature honestly it's not one i really care about is the ratcheted drag lever Something that guys moral and fishing might care about 
when it comes to that lever is how smooth that drag goes up. I don't do a whole lot of marlin fishing. So on these reels, I have my drag set high and the drag flies up in pressure pretty fast as I push that reel up. I have to use pretty much two hands to push it up if I want to get like a real smooth circle hook hook set. You know, when you're trying to lay the hook up inside of the corner of the mouth of a marlin as you're coming tight. So I did have a quick issue with the drag in these. When I was pulling line out of this with the drag up, after a trip, I noticed that the drag got sticky on me. And um, I went to show someone the issue. I pulled about 15 yards of line off of the spool and it quit doing it. So that Dura drag system is a wet drag system, which means it uses grease. And something could have got gummed up in there. I'm not positive what the problem is because it worked itself out very quickly. Haven't had the problem since. So the next thing on this reel that I kind of want to show you real quick is the clicker. It's got a loud clicker on it. Um, when we're catching big fish, you know, the, the, the clicker ain't a huge deal when they're ripping line off you know offshore fishing but i've heard beach guys say that they like a loud clicker and the clicker is very much loud it's one of them clickers so that's kind of like the same clicker it might be a little louder actually than the clicker on the tlds and i'll show you the clicker is actually right there so you just slide that and that turns your clicker on and off i'll show you what the clicker sounds like on an international just in case you're curious to know all right so next thing i want to talk about is the handle and the crank and power of this reel what you're going to be winching fish up with so it does have a nice rubberized handle on there i like it and the other cool thing about this reel is that it's got the two speed adjustment right here you press that button in keep your hand on the real handle you're still cranking and man you put that thing right in a low gear not a problem real quick in and out take it out of low gear you just go ahead and twist this little thing again that's something you can flip with your thumb that's next to the you know that's around this button here if you can't see it real clearly because it is black and um, if you don't know what two speed is two speed means that rather than cranking up 33 inches of line in one turn you're going to be cranking up 17 inches of line in one turn in low gear. You don't get as much line as quick, but what that does for you by pressing this button is it makes that reel like a winch. You can keep that rod bent and keep steadier pressure on a fish. It also makes it easier on an angler in a long fight. Um, this is something that's useful in fighting big tuna fish. And the quick adjustment is very, very nice. Um, for when you're cranking hard on a fish and a fish decides to bolt at the boat and you just flip that off and you're back in high gear staying tight on the fish that decided to bolt at the boat. Alright guys, so as far as my final thoughts on this reel go, it's a super affordable reel worth every penny that I paid for it. The drag has performed great for me except for the one brief issue that I had with it that resolved itself. I've had fish, 40 pound yellowfin about, Pull 20 pounds of drag with wind ons going on and off the rod tips. Been super smooth. Pulled up to 25 pounds of drag on it and uh, it's been smooth. So hopefully it'll perform great when I put 100 pound on it and catch some big eyes on it this summer. Um, subscribe, by the way, if you want to see those videos coming up. Hopefully it happens. If not, there's always something interesting going on offshore. The handles are great, the handles are very smooth. I've heard one or two guys say they like them better than the handles on the TLDs, even though they find the handles, or I'm sorry, the drags on the TLDs superior to this drag system, which I still think it is a little bit better than these drags, by the way. Um, 
I've had people say they like the handles better than the handles on my internationals on the boat. Again, my internationals are, are a little older, and these are two-speed reels. So it's also a great light reel, even though it's not great looking. It's a great light reel for um, maybe smaller stature kids or women that you know you don't want fighting fish with a huge, bulky, heavy um, reel. So that's about what the graphite body is good for. And I recommend you check this reel out, especially if you're on a budget and uh, looking to chase big game around, maybe in a center console like I am. Give a reel a shot. Let me know what you think about the review down in the comments below. Give me feedback on what I could have done better. Same thing on my, all my other videos. Give me feedback. Um, I don't really like it when I get thumbs down on a, on a video and I don't know what the heck I did wrong. I really, really enjoy improving videos and um, making the quality better so that people enjoy watching and um, maybe it'll make them want to get into what what we do and what you and I love to do. So it, it's, a, it's a lifestyle and um, subscribe you know, to the channel if you want to see more of it. I really appreciate it guys. Stay tuned for more videos like this, reviews of um, hunting and fishing equipment as well as some hunting and fishing footage. Thank you.